Hello YouTube friends, Fred Bergeron here from Inaxis. I hope you're doing well today. In this video, um, I will show you how we can import a list of users um, with the ICT Protege WX system. Compared to GX, this is a bit more tricky because the CSV file must be built in a very specific way. Unlike GX where you can select the different columns you want to import and maybe skip some other columns. In this example, you have to create the CSV file and kind of massage it the way WX is expecting it, okay? so. Let's have a look at how it's done, uh, and I will show you, also show you where to find the details of how to build the CSV file from the help file of the Prodigy WX platform. Okay, so let's have a look at the, uh, uh, at the steps on, to achieve this. All right, so just a quick note here how to find the help menu. Uh, it's right here on the far right, okay? and I already have it open here. So basically you need to go under property reference guide users and then the user CSV import. And then you have the details of how the file must be prepared and then make sure it's separated by a comma and then a semicolon. So it's basically first name, last name, full name, facility number or site code, card number, the pin number and the access level. What's great is if you put the name of an access level that's already there, the user will be already assigned to that access level after importing the file. Okay, so basically you can show this um, sequence to the HR department of a client, for instance, and then you can take the list of employees, put the columns in the right place, put the column for site code and card number and access level, and then you can import it. Obviously it's a lot faster to do it that way compared to maybe entering 500 users manually in the system. Okay, so some fields can be skipped. Okay, for instance, um, the first name, last name, you can skip it if there's a full name column. Okay, so just make sure you refer to this, um, you know, list or sorry, the, the help file um, a list of columns before building the, um, the CSV platform. Okay, so um, now this is how to do it. Now let's see where we can get to be able to import the file. So from the WX system, from the main page, you want to go to users and users, all right? And the import button is here, okay? So I can just browse for the file, which is on my desktop. And click OK. And then the system should add a new user, which is here. So Mr. Arnold Poirier is now added to the system, okay? so. It's fairly easy. I, as soon as you know how to build the CSV file, this is very simple, okay? But, um, you know, it's again, very useful. So you can maybe start a template, give the template to your client, then they fill the blanks, and then you just grab the file uh, and import it. If there's an error in some fields, um, the import tool will typically show you at which line there's an error. Maybe there's a special character that's not supported, or maybe there's a, a skip or, or a blank in some of the fields. So then you'll know exactly where you can fix the problem, okay? You cannot add duplicates, okay? So that's gonna also show an error. So make sure if you sort by, let's say, site code or in card number, uh, make sure there's no duplicates in card numbers because that will also block the import. I hope you liked the video. This was a quick tutorial on how to import users with a CSV file with the ICT Project WX platform. Remember, Nexus is the proud Canadian distributor of ICT products. If you need help or if you have you know, support questions, you have sales questions, visit the nexus.com website. We'll be more than happy to help you. All right, again, Fred Bergeron from Inaxis. Thanks for watching.